I want to tell you that there is no successful business in a society that fails. And uh, today, more than ever, it's very important that each company in every part of the world become on the side of the solution, not on the side of the problem. You know that 50% of the most important and largest economies are run by companies. So the companies, we have a great power to make things happen, for the better or for the worst. And in my experience, there are only two kinds of companies. One is called, as we say it on the, in, the, in the Global Compact Initiative in New York, the business as usual. And uh, the main issue for the business as usual on the first is money. And the second most important thing, money. And the third more, most important thing, money. And the fourth and the fifth. And the fifth. And it doesn't matter how I make money. It doesn't matter if I get things of corruption, if I, get, if I get slavery, if I deforest the forest. If I get the money I want. That's the business as usual. And we have another kind of business that is called responsible business. And responsible business, of course, is money, because if no, there's no reason for the company. But also the environment is important, and also the social and the people are important. And it's come the three Ps, the people, the planet, and the profit. And in my experience, in, in the company I work for and in the Global Compact Initiative, and with all the, the businessmen that I talk worldwide, you can do a lot of money being a responsible business. I am not going to tell you how to do it because I have just five minutes speech, but this ERI, the CERI, knows very good how to make it happen. So, how many business as usual do we, do we have in the world? And how many responsible business do we have in this world? We are just, the responsible business, a minority. But this is growing, for God's sake. Uh, in my last lecture at Harvard University a month ago, one of my, the students asked me a question. Many companies are, not do, are doing nothing for the environment, nothing for the social. Why do we have to make it if many in the world they are, no, they are doing nothing? And my answer was, someone has to start. Someone like the FSC, someone like the CRIE, someone like the Global Compact Initiative, and someone like yourself because you are, as far as I know, on the side of the solution because you take care of the social, you take care of the environment, and you take care of the profit. Congratulations to Peter Liao and to Mr. Harald Sur Hansen and all the people who work here on the initiative to contribute to a better world. And I wish you the best of luck in your sustainability programs. And I'm really honored to be here today. And congratulations to all of you. Thank you very much.